Go. This presentation is about the effects lifestyle has on health and well-being. First one is physical activity. Uh, physical activity is any uh, body movement that works your muscles and requires more energy than resting. And the physical activity guidelines, first for under five-year-olds, is um, activity of any intensity should be encouraged, preferably light activities which are energetic and uh, keeps them engaged. Babies should be encouraged to be active every day. Uh, before crawling, this is still for friends' babies, parents should encourage them to be physically active by reaching, grasping, pushing and pulling, etc. And toddlers should have at least 180 minutes a day of physical activity. This can be either indoors or outdoors. For five-year-olds to 18-year-olds, uh, 60 minutes of activity a day is required. Uh, a minimum of three days spent doing exercises, and these exercises can vary from walking or doing sports such as football. Physical activity guidelines for 19-year-olds and 64-year-olds. At least 100 minutes of moderate aerobic activity, such as cycling or light brisk walking every week, and strength exercises on two or more days per week that work all the major muscles, so this is legs, hips, back, abdomen, chest, shoulders and arms. Uh, for 64 year olds and older, at least 150 minutes of uh, moderate aerobic uh, activity, such as walking and cycling every week. Um, strength exercises on two or more days a week uh, that work all the major muscles, so legs, etc. Uh, the benefits of physical activity um, physical activity can boost self esteem and mood, which is um, just because of your better body image and your uh, mind's refresh. Uh, better sleep quality, energy, because obviously uh, you're relaxed, you're not really focusing on any, any other problems. Strengthen bone and muscles and improves mental health, because obviously you're taking time away. Physical activity can also reduce the risk of stress and depression, because you're taking your mind off things. Dementia, uh, which is a syndrome associated with an ongoing decline of brain functioning skills, so this could be uh, memory loss and thinking speed. Um, Alzheimer's disease, which is um, an irreversible progressive brain disorder that slowly destroys uh, memory and thinking skills, um, and eventually the ability to carry out simple tasks. Um, the risk of cardiovascular disease, because obviously you're working on your cardio and keeping fit. Type 2 diabetes reduces cancer by 50%, uh, lower the risk of early death by 50% by staying fit and healthy and active and up to an 83 lower uh, percent risk of osteoarthritis, which is a type of um, joint disease that results from breakdown of joint cartilage and underlying bone. Uh, for alcohol, the guidelines recommend, uh, recommendations for alcohol is that men are advised to have three to four units a day, whereas women are recommended to have two to three units a day. The government also recommends that an individual should not drink over 14 units uh, per week. So one unit of alcohol is around half a glass of wine. Recommendations, um, two of them, so one is meditation. Uh, the decision to uh, stop drinking requires mental discipline and self-control. So obviously you're f um, taking away one thing and replacing it with another. But however, this can only work for a certain amount of people because other people find it boring and maybe not as fun as drinking. And the other one is a small budget fix. So you only have a certain amount to spend on alcohol so that you don't um, end up spending loads of amount of money when you're in debt and, um, wait, um, and going into excessive drinking. <coughs> the, uh, another risk is um, the stages of liver damage. So basically, there's... Um, Four stages of liver damage. Uh, it starts off with healthy, fatty liver, fibrosis, and then cirrhosis. Cirrhosis. <laughs> um, um, the healthy stage is healthy liver produces bile, which can help uh, digest fats in the intestines um, and carries away waste. Uh, it also cr creates cholesterol and specific proteins to carry fat through the body. Um, regulates um, Amino acids levels in the body and produces um, blood proteins and converts extra glucose so that sugar can be stored and regulates blood clotting. For the fatty liver though, um, the signs of these are um, inflation are the tenderness and the enlargement of the liver slowly increases so that um, the 
However, the individual may not feel pain, but it can last last some damage. Um, and then that's basically it for fatty. But for fibrosis though, um, scar tissue eventually replaces the healthy tissue, uh, which is impairing liver function. And then the scar tissue eventually blocks up the normal blood flow to the liver, which requires the remaining uh, health portions to work harder. And then cirrhosis uh, occurs after the liver has been severely scarred with all the scar tissue and it can no longer heal itself. Sim the symptoms include water accumulation in the legs, abdomen and intestine itching, uh, intense itching sensation on the skin, um, and you get uh, yellow skin and eyes, maybe not like full yellow, but and you get easily bruised, uh, easy to bleed, uh, burst blood vessels, type 2 diabetes, problems concentrating, sleeping, and impaired mental functions begin to struggle. And that's basically it for the liver damage. And uh, the other risk of excessive drinking is alcohol poison, which causes confusion, loss coordination, vomiting, which um, eventually you'll end up vomiting, um, obviously swallowing your own vomit and goes into your lungs and then eventually you could choke on it potentially. Uh, blue tinge or pale skin, stupor, which is you're conscious, but you're unresponsive, so your body movements don't work. Or uh, irregular or slow breathing, which is roughly, or normally is uh, less than eight breaths a minute. And death can also be caused as uh, excessive drinking, because in men, deaths from alcohol rose from 2,850 to 3,488 over a decade, which is a 22% increase, which is the highest toll among men in the, oh, among men and women in manual jobs. However, uh, for women in high fine jobs, such as lawyers, doctors, uh, the number of deaths caused by drinking had risen by 23%. Smoking. All right, some statistics, um, from the NHS, from 2015 and 2016, in Great Britain, roughly 10 million adults smoked cigarettes, which is about sixth of the total UK population, and 22% of adults, um, adult men are actually smokers, and 17% of uh, women smokers, uh, of adult women are smokers. About half of all regular smokers will eventually be killed off by their addiction, because obviously they're excessively smoking, maybe 40 cigarettes a day. And every year, around 100,000 smokers die from smoking-related causes with the UK alone. And two-thirds of smokers start before the age of 18. In 2015, a 20-a-day smoker of a premium cigarette brand will spend roughly £3,000 a year on cigarettes. This can lead to a price of tobacco uh, to increase by 87% over a 10-year period from 2004 to 2014, making it less affordable by 30%, which kind of... It's beneficial because obviously less people be able to afford the tobacco, so it lowers smoking. The health risks associated with smoking. Well, smoking causes about 90% of lung cancers, and it can also cover other parts of the body, including the mouth, lips, throat, uh, voice back, box, which are lights, uh, osteophagus, <laughs> the tube between the mouth and stomach, bladder, kidney, liver, stomach, and pancreas. Um, cancer occurs from in the lungs because um, the toxins cause mutation in the cells, which obviously kill away all the healthy cells and slowly kills the body. Uh, another risk is that it causes damage to the heart and the blood circulation, increasing the condition or increasing the risk of condition developing such as heart attack, stroke, coronary heart disease, peripheral vascular disease, which are damaged blood vessels, and cerebrovascular disease, which is damaged arteries that supply blood to the brain. So obviously that's gonna have mental impact. Uh, smoke can also worsen or prolong the symptoms of respiratory con uh, conditions, such as asthma or respiratory, respiratory tract infections, such as common cold. And smoke can also reduce fertility of both men and women, so they have a less sexual drive. Uh, however, in men, smoking can cause impotence as it limits the blood supply to the penis, as in an erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Stress. Um, some statistics again. The average working uh, week in the UK is now 
43.6 hours compared to the European average of 40.3, which limits uh, of just 35 hours in France. Nearly 4 million employees are working at least 48 hours a week, 350,000 uh, more than a, whole, uh, than a whole decade ago. Professional staff and managers work the longest amount of hours, while one in 